You know, one of the reasons why I don't go see movies in the theater anymore is the horrible ads that you get at the beginning of the theater, or at the beginning of the movie at least. You sit down, you, you get your popcorn, you get your, your chocolate bar, you get your drink, you sit down in the theater, you've arrived early so you don't have to deal with stepping over people, you're seated in your seat, and then you get 20 minutes of ads before the video plays. And you just sit there pulling your hair out while you're waiting for your movie to start. Well, that type of thing might be coming to a video game very soon. So being reported from Tom's Hardware, if you don't use Tom's Hardware as a, a, a site every once in a while, they usually do a lot of computer reviews and a lot of uh, best parts out there. They usually give a lot of info for how to on computer things. But this one in particular is very telling on what's going on with computers and video games. EA is looking at putting in-game ads in AAA games. So the new rating for your AAA game or your quadruple-A game at this point will now have ads in it. No, EA, walk this back right now. We're already paying enough money for these video games. Make it work and don't think about putting an ad in a video game. On a loading screen, it's already bad enough. Uh, and one of the reasons why I didn't bother continuing to play uh, Street Fighter V was the in-game ads that you have on the loading screens. It pissed me off to no end. The game is already, already over flooded on the menu. And the last thing I wanna do is play a video game and have an ad sticking in my face saying, you now need to click on this. This isn't no free game that you get on your cell phone. No, this is ads in the top end games. Before we get fully into this, please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel today. The more people that we get, the more reach I can have and the more videos you will see of important topics like this one. Advertising has an opportunity to be meaningful driver of growth for us. No, why, why in the world do you need this to grow your brand? Your brand is failing if you have to go this route, if you have to sell out to putting ads. Look at look at the Steam and the Steam, the streaming services. They're already you've got PlayStation Prime that says, oh, you don't want ads, you need to pay a little bit more. You need to pay a little bit more. We need more money. This is part and parcel of the times that we are in. All these remakes that we have seen from video game companies have now led to this point for them to be able to say, okay, okay, we can't do remakes, we can't make these games anymore. You gotta pay up a little bit extra. We're putting ads in your face so we can get some extra little money. You know what, when you, how about this? How about this? You go back to a physical copy of a video game, make people line up outside of a store, throw all the ads on the store, throw extra ads in that book, in that case, for us to buy the game. And then suddenly all the ads for and ad revenue is right there. But don't you dare think about putting it into the video game that we're trying to play. EA CEO Andrew Wilson confirmed the company is considering putting ads into traditional AAA games, titles that players purchase upfront for around $70 a piece. In a Q&A, EA's latest earnings call, Eric Sheridan from Goldman Sachs asked Wilson about dynamic ad insertion in traditional video and AAA games. Wilson said advertising has an opportunity to be a meaningful driver of growth for us, he then concluded. We have teams internally in the company right now looking at how to thoughtfully implementations inside of our game experiences. Don't you dare put it in the video. Okay, okay, let's, let's put it this way. If you want to put an ad placement in a video game, you randomly put a Coca-Cola can in a video game. I am 100% okay with that because it brings something to the real world. It brings something out of the real world into a video game and makes it lure into that video game. If you are going to sit there and tell me that I now have to click on this ad, watch this ad to be able to play the video game that I just spent $70 for, nothing more will piss off your customer base than doing something as, as asinine 
as putting ads in a $70 video game. That is absolutely asinine and ridiculous behavior from a greedy corporation that just needs to, uh, needs to make more money for their shareholders. Make something new. Make something that will bring out the gamers in droves to buy your game. Do not put ads in your video games. You know, this is also, I, I guess, on the heels of Windows 11 talking about adding ads to your start menu on your operating system against PC users. Once again, placing ads where they don't belong. Uh, if I am using my operating system and I want to click on my start menu to try and find the program I am trying to do on my system, and then I have to actually shut it off the, from the internet to shut down your ridiculous ad placement in something that I own, it's absolutely asinine, ridiculous, and needs to go back to the drawing board. You know what you're doing. You're just trying to bulk people. There is absolutely no reason, no good reason to place ads like this, especially in video games or in your operating system. There is so many things I find wrong with this in today's world. It's such a greedy move from corporations trying to push this down upon all of us, right? You know, when it comes to a YouTuber making a video, I, I'm not sponsored except for by the people that support this channel. And if you want to hop on the membership, please, I beg of you to do so. But I don't push it that much in your face. And I try not to. I try to make it as little as possible because I know how much it will make people upset. And it, when it comes down to a YouTube channel, you can easily skip forward from it and not have to worry about it. When it comes to placing an ad in your start menu or in a video game, it's going to be in a captive audience where you have to sit there and get through it. You have to sit there and get past this ad in order to play the game or consume the content. No, it's not right. It sucks. I hate it when they do it at the movie theater. You know, you 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 have a movie that starts at 2, 2 p.m. You want to be there in your seat before 2 p.m. so you can sit there and enjoy the movie. But no, you have to sit there and watch 20 minutes of ads, another 10 minutes of trailers. And by that time, you just now realize the movie's starting at 2.30 instead of 2 o'clock. And there goes a half an hour of your day that you're not getting back because you are considered to be a captive audience this is wrong and it needs to end this idea from corporations doing this needs to be stopped anyway i'm your product Canadian phoenix in shadow i'm signing off here don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again very soon